All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to heat treat, quench, and temper a knife. Um, first thing you're gonna need is a forge, obviously. You can see mine to the right there. Um, if you don't have a forge, I have a tutorial on how to build that exact one. So you can go watch that first and make a forge. You can also make one out of bricks. I have another tutorial on that, but go uh, check those out first. Also, you'll notice you're seeing I have a bucket of oil and a bucket of water. Uh, the only time I don't quench in oil is when the knife I have is too big to quench in my little bucket that I have here. Um, so what I was going to do was quench just the edge in the oil and then dunk the rest of it in water to completely quench it, which is perfectly fine if you know how to do it right, which I'll talk about more later. Also you can see I have two pairs of tongs there, I use both of them, and then um, I normally use just wood and charcoal. If you have blacksmithing coal, that will work a lot better, um, but if you just have wood and charcoal or just wood, that also works just fine. For my forge fan, I use a hair blow dryer as you can see here, but if you're able to get your hands on something a little bit more powerful like a, say, shop back or a leaf blower, go ahead and use that, that would work a lot better. Normally whenever I start the fire, also I leave the knives in there. Um, and I put them right where I know the uh, main heat is going to be and where it's going to be the hottest when it's going. Um, not everyone does that, but I think it's kind of helpful and handy so then you're not trying to adjust everything and freak out. And you can throw more wood on top. But uh, as you can see, it's going pretty good here. And there's my brother and his girlfriend. They're just being goofy, I guess. I don't really know what they were doing. They were out there. Um, so now the fire is hot enough to where I can actually pull the knives out. And here you'll see I pulled out the first one. And this little one, I was trying to demonstrate the edge quench technique where you just quench the edge for about 10 to 15 seconds and that will give you a really hard edge um, and then you submerge the rest of it. And what that does, it will give you a soft spine since the spine is kind of cooled down. And then I'm doing the same thing with this other one. And I actually carried both of them over into the water just because I didn't want it, the oil to get too hot for this second knife. But normally if I'm just doing a small knife like that first one you saw, after 15 seconds I just dunk the whole thing in the oil. And as a matter for safety, if you're using uh, oil like me that kind of combusts pretty easily, when you're trying to put it out, just throw a towel over it. The first time I had this problem I ended up kind of burning my face off. And as you'll see, I pulled the towel from the far side away from me. And what that does is if uh, when the oxygen gets to it, if it's going to catch back on fire, it won't explode in your face. So there you go. Now that's the way I heat treat my knives. And I know there's a lot of different ways, but I have tested my knife's strength and I have carved nails with them. So I know this works and I know it's a good technique. So if you have any questions, make sure to comment those down below. All right, now the best way I found out how to temper my knives is to just throw them in the oven. Depending on the kind of steel you have, that's going to depend on how high you want to turn. For a D2, that works best from 300 to 400, and I'm not really sure about this file steel, so I think I just turned this on 400 or 415, and then I left them in there for 90 minutes, took them out, let them cool, and then put them in for another night. Now what tempering does is it takes any brittleness out of the blade and gives you maximum strength. Um, I've heard of ways people do this with a blowtorch and stuff, um, and that can work pretty quickly, but I'm not exactly sure how well that works. The reason I like this method is because it heats up the knife uniformly, so everything is the same temperature and you're not getting any weird heat spots in there. So I'd recommend this way, but if you can't do it this way, then you can look up alternative ways to do it online. And that's all I got for this video today, but thanks for watching. Make sure to leave any comments down below, I'll be sure to answer those. And you can follow me on other medias. So. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.